were in school, we all learned about who the first man on the moon was, Neil Armstrong. But no one talks about the first man in space, named Yuri Alexeyevich. Why? Maybe people avoid it because they find it difficult to pronounce the name. But what about the Afronauts? Yes, Africans that joined the space race. Have you heard about them? Well, that's what I'm bringing into focus. What's their achievement? Space Race is the competition that started between the Cold War adversaries in 1957. Along the way, the Zambia director for the National Academy of Science named Edward Nkolosu Makuka believed Africa could achieve space flight capability even before Russia or USA could. But Russia successfully sent the first man into space even before the country's independence. So the next is the moon or Mars. Uncoloso's plan was to send a 17-year-old space gay named Matanwamba to Kat and a missionary to Mars because he theorized that people were already living in Mars. They are primitive and is going to civilize them. He went ahead and warned the missionary not to force religion on the people of Mars. Due to weightlessness in the space, Makuka gave his Afonos these trainings to give them the feelings of weightlessness in the space. The space vessel is this drum called the Kalu, which is going to be launched into space using a catapult-like structure. This is to be Africa's first space program. So Nkoloso, which is also a good friend of the then Zambian president, tried hard to convince the government to provide adequate funding for the project if they are to be the controller of the seventh heaven of interstellar space. At the camp, there was too much love making in the space station. His crews are not concentrating and he complained bitterly about this. It later turned out that the government doesn't believe in his project. Nkoloso Makuka went ahead and requested for funds from UNESCO, Egypt, among others, all of which were declined. No one believed in his project of catapulting a drum into space. The Zambia government didn't associate itself with it. Nkoloso himself only had colonial education and studied subjects like Latin, French, and theology, though he later had his tertiary education at the University of Zambia. The last thing that would ever let him get his support was the experience he had during his first ever flight on a plane when he told the pilot to open the door for him so he could walk in the space. The pilot, seeing him as a man and not an angel, refused his request. At the end, Matamwamba, the 17-year-old space geek, got pregnant and his parents came to take her away for care. That was the last straw that broke his camel's back. Becoming hopeless, the other crew members also left the station. Sadly, Nkolosu Makuka himself passed away on the 4th of March 1989. Nkoloso was the first African to make an attempt to send a man into space. He coined the term Afronauts as the US will have astronauts and Russia cosmonauts. If you love African history, like this video and subscribe if you haven't.